Hey guys, welcome back to our Power Query Editor series over at Data with Dominic. And in today's demonstration, we're going to be looking at how to uh, create conditional columns using the Power Query Editor. So let's dive into the demonstration. I'm using the Power Query Editor inside of the Power BI Desktop Windows app. There's a link in my description to download the Power BI Desktop app for Windows, which is the best way to start working with the Power Query Editor for free. And after that, I've basically imported one table of sample data which is just some customer details. And we're gonna be working on that to show you how some of these transformations work. So for this demonstration, if you wanna create a conditional column, what we have to do is we have to come over to the add column tab, and there we have the conditional column tab. So once we are in the add column tab, what we can do is we can find a use case for us. And in this case, what I wanna do is, you can see that we've got this contact title column here, and we have some owners listed there. And what I want to do is I want to create uh, an, another column, which basically is called board seat. And board seat will be true for all people who have the contact title owners. And it should be false for everybody else who is not who does not have the contact title as owner. So that's basically a condition, conditional column that we want, a new conditional column that we want to create. So how do we do that? We can, once we've selected contact column, we can hit conditional column. And that opens up this conditional column uh, wizard uh, editor for us. So we can name the new column. So I'm gonna call it board seat. And once we've got board seat here, what we can do is if column name is contact title equals, and it, you can see it got, it's got all the operators that we have and we would have a need to do all these conditional statements equals owner then output is true all right else output is false and for more advanced uh, use cases you can add more else if statements so let's say looking at the data in the table we also have uh, sales managers so if, suppose we wanted to give sales managers also a board seat. We can do an else if contact title equals sales manager then true else false. So this should in, avid, in uh, theory give us a new column named board seat which has only true and false values and they are true when contact title in the existing column equals owner or sales manager. Otherwise it should be false. So let's create, click okay. And there you can see we've got this new uh, column board seat with true and false based on the contact title. Yeah, so this is contact title. Now it should become clear. Yes, yeah, so as you can see owners have board seats true and sales manager also have both seats and this is sort of the case throughout and yeah also last thing since it's a true and false value you could change the data type by pressing this symbol here and make it the true or false uh, type so it, it becomes easier to work with later on so that's it for how to create conditional columns in the power query editor thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one.